Today, we're talking about Michelle and Ross. When we first met, they had a tall order. But we would love help with the upstairs master so that Ross and I can move upstairs, giving the bottom floor to my parents. I think there's a lot of opportunity where two of the rooms up here can be combined into that then dream primary suite. Michelle's parents were moving in with them and we needed to give them a place that had a little bit of a living room area a place to have their desk with a great Zoom backdrop, two sinks, and work within their existing bathroom space and give them a new closet. They had two guest bedrooms and this was going to become one large primary suite. We decided to knock down the wall between the two spaces and when we did that, it opened up a world of opportunities. We had to figure out how to get two sinks in their bathroom. So we grabbed a few feet into the hallway and then we extended their closet just by a few extra feet and those faced each other. So you walk into this little vestibule and then you walk into this now large open space. We decided to separate the open space into zones, right? So we have the sleeping area, we have the lounge area, and then we had the desk area. This way, the desk area is over in the living space, and then we got that as the background instead of a bedroom. So they wanted a Tulum vibe. They live in this San Francisco home that was like a Spanish craftsman style home. And I was tasked with trying to figure out how to blend it with the rest of their home. They said that they wanted a light and airy vibe and Ross loves plants. So that's where I started. They had this great bay window and it felt like the perfect opportunity to place their bed and hang pendants. I feel like the hanging pendants with the wood shade, glass globe, breezy drapes, it just felt like the Tulum vibe that we were going for. They had an existing bed with a woven detail and so we were going to work with that. And we just layered lots of lightweight linens and brown tones and textures. Across the room, we created a lounge area with these leather sling chairs and a little coffee table. And then that became the perfect moment to incorporate Ross's love of trees. Michelle was not so hot on us adding more plants. So we did a few and I'm sure that he will add to it, but this gets him going. I wanted to keep the casings similar to what they have throughout the rest of the home. So we did that trim in a creamy white, but I wanted to add some sort of interest. So we did this whitewashed bleached kind of tone on the ceiling. And then we kept their existing floors and stained them to a less orange color so that it would coordinate with the ceiling. That way, if they decide to refinish their floors later, they can keep their original floors and it, it all flows. If you have to place a bed in a bay window or if you have a small space to put a bed, work with not a true nightstand, work with a little side table. Also, if you're tight on space, hanging the pendants cleared off the surface of the nightstand so you had more room to put you know, your phone at night. One tip, if you need to put a desk in your bedroom or in an open space, try to incorporate a chair that feels comfortable, but also looks like it could be a living or a dining chair. That way it flows seamlessly with the rest of the space, but it works for you as a desk chair. In the bathroom, we did a custom vanity and we did this oak tone that has this really nice stain and a curved detail that ties in with the ceiling in the bedroom. Think that if you have a primary suite that you're designing, it's really nice to have a few elements that tie back to one another and the stain detail really did that. We did a quartz countertop that has a heavier veining in a space of this size and their style, it was important to keep it pretty clean. So we did wall mounted faucets and then we carried that onto the counter and then did a thick profile on the apron of the sink. We did one large mirror across the top. Getting as much mirror as possible was nice to bounce around light and so that they'd get the most out of standing in front of the vanity. We did a really pretty limestone floor and I think that Limestone works everywhere and it's just a classic material. And when we're picking finishes for a bathroom, we want to keep them classic so that they don't date really quickly. 
in the shower, we made it more interesting and more usable for them. The square footage stayed the same, but by doing this really pretty hand-formed terracotta tile in a herringbone pattern, we added visual interest to the walls. And then we did a little itty bitty bench. This square footage is the size of a drop-in tub. So if you have a tub and you're changing into a shower and you think you can't fit one of those big, beautiful benches that you see in large estates, you can fit a little bench. It just needs to be like this, but that's just enough put, to put your foot up and shave or set a few bottles of shampoo. In the end, I think that we were able to fit a lot of what they requested. I mean, pretty much all of it. We were able to create this beautiful, calming and relaxing primary suite that incorporated a sleeping, living, office, closet, and extended bathroom area. And when you walk in there, you can immediately feel that calming tranquility that they asked for. And I hope that they're enjoying it today.